Well, when you see Bungie trending on Twitter, her ex, and you come across that they have laid off some people. So let's check out their statement, the new path for Bungie. This morning, I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult changes we've ever had to make as a studio. Due to rising costs of development and industry shifts, as well as enduring economic conditions, it's has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. Destiny and Marathon. There you go. So yes, both games, seems like, will be coming. Now, this is not a shock to me, because what I'm about to read this next sentence that means beginning today, 220 of our roles will be eliminated, representing roughly 17% of our studio's workforce. Ouch. So that is something that I am not shocked by because uh, they did a layoff last year, which I think was like 6% of their staff or so. And I, And this was before the Final Shape launch, obviously before the Final Shape launch. And... You know, I even said back then, I was like, dude, there's going to be a big layoff come once the final shape's over. They just need all the devs to get them through the finish line. And then once that's done, you will see a pretty sizable uh, cut. And I think we just got it, right? <laughs> and this is, I mean, not shocked by this for a lot of things. I mean, you're talking about industry shifts. It's like, what, what shifted, like? Um, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of costs of development. Yes, everybody's kind of talked about it, but, um, dude, the more and more over the past couple of years, they've gone, they've gone woke, you know, they've gone woke and they've, uh, you know, you can say woke or whatever, but it's like, dude, every character that they introduce in a game is some part of the alphabet people. And it's just, there's a lot of people that don't appeal to that. So, Actually, I would say a majority of gamers don't appeal to that. They don't want to be seeing that all the damn time. Okay? So, let's continue reading. Uh, these actions will affect every level of the company, including most of our executive and senior leader roles. Alright. I, I kind of like at least that statement. Most of our executive and senior leader roles. That's good. Get rid of the people that don't do shit. Today is a difficult and painful day, especially for our departing colleagues, all of which have made important and valuable contributions to Bungie. Our goal is to support them with the utmost care and respect. For everyone affected by this job reduction, we will be offering a generous exit package, including severance, bonus, and health coverage. At least they're not kicking them out the door. Good for that. I realize all of this is hard news, especially following the success we have seen with the final shape. But as we've navigated the broader economic realities over the last year, and after exhausting all other mitigation options, this has become a necessary decision to refocus our studio and our business with more realistic goals and viable financials. We are committing to two other major changes today that we believe will support our focus. Leverage Sony's strengths, and create new opportunities for Bungie talent. First, we are deepening our integration with Sony Interactive Entertainment, working to integrate 155 of our roles, roughly 12% into SIE, that's Sony Interactive Entertainment, over the next few quarters. SIE has worked tirelessly with us to identify roles for as many of our people as possible, enabling us to save a greater deal of talent that would otherwise have been affected by the reduction in force. So this is not, um, so you can add on 12% of what was the previous 17%. So about 30% of the Bungie work staff is leaving Bungie. 12% of it's actually going to SIE. That's the way I'm, I'm interpreting that. But 17% is leaving entirely. So that just tells you that I, I think, I think it's actually 30% is actually leaving Bungie, but they just found 12% 
that's that's gonna go work over at at Sony Interactive Entertainment. Jeez, that is that is a brutal brutal cut. Second, we are working with PlayStation Studios leadership to spin out one of our incubation projects, an action game set in a brand new scientific fantasy universe to form a new studio within PlayStation Studios to continue its promising development. So obviously this is not Marathon, right? It's not Marathon, or they just would have said Marathon. So uh, obviously I don't, you know, Something that they have not publicly said, but they're obviously it's incubation, incubation projects, kind of early on probably. This will be a time of tremendous change for our studio. Let's unpack how we ended up in this position. It's important to understand how we got here. For over five years, it has been our goal to ship games in three enduring global franchises. To realize that ambition, we set up several incubation projects, each seated with senior development leaders from our existing teams. We eventually realized that this model stretched our talent too thin too quickly. I was just about to mention that. They tried to go from one baby, one baby, which is Destiny, to, well, two more. So it's like you have one financial hub, and now you got two that are sucking costs out of the, out of the one that's providing you know, money and they should have done one to get the second one up and then later on look to do the third. But yeah, that's, that was, yeah. Leadership should have been canned for that. That was a horrible position or horrible decision. It's also forced our studio support structure to scale to a larger level than we could realistically support given our two primary products in development, Destiny and Marathon. Additionally, in 2023, our rapid expansion ran headlong into a broad economic slowdown, a sharp downturn in the game industry, our quality missed with Destiny 2 Lightfall, yeah, and the need to give both the Final Shape and Marathon the time needed to ensure both projects deliver at the quality our players expect and deserve. We were overly ambitious. Our financial safety margins were were, subs were subsequently exceeded and we began running in the red. After this new trajectory became clear, we knew we had to change our course and speed. We did everything we could to avoid today's outcome, even with exhausting efforts undertaken across our leadership and product teams to resolve our financial challenges. These steps were simply not enough. As a result, today we must say goodbye to incredible talent colleagues and friends. This will be a challenging time at Bungie and we'll need to help our team navigate these changes in the weeks and months ahead. This will be a hard week and we know that our team will need time to process, to ask questions, and to absorb the news. Today and over the next several weeks, we will host team meetings and town halls, team breakout sessions, and private individual sessions to ensure we are keeping our communication open and transparent. We got to make sure everybody's doing okay. Mental health is number one. Jesus, man, get over it. It's part of business. You either deliver or you freaking don't, and that's what happens when you don't. Nobody cares about your rainbow parades and bullshit and powwow sessions. Deliver a product, people will buy, and you don't have these issues. People don't like your product. People don't buy it. They don't continue to support it. And this is what happens. It also doesn't help that you increase your capital expenditures by so much. Yeah, that was stupid. Bungie will continue to make great games. We still have over 850 team members building Destiny and Marathon, and we will continue to build amazing experiences that exceed our players' expectations. There will be a time to talk about our goals and projects, but today is not that day. Today... Our focus is on supporting our people, Pete, which is Pete Parsons. So, yeah, I'm not shocked by this at all. Uh, I'm just kind of curious about the 12% that's going over to SEI, SIE, sorry, 12% uh, over to SIE in the next few quarters. So, okay, over the next few quarters. So, yeah, I think that answers the question. So, this is an additional 12% on top of the 17%. So 17% are gone. 
today, right? That means beginning today, 220% of our rolls are eliminated. So that's 17%. This 12% is also going over to SIE. That's great. They were able to save, you know, 12% of their workforce, you know, find new positions for them and stuff like that. That's, that's fantastic. It's never easy to kind of go through like uh, a layoff or an axing from a company, but dude, 30% of Bungie just got cut. Damn. Damn. Woo. 17 immediately. And then 12% here over the next, uh, several months. That's, that's pretty rough. Hope marathon was worth it. And whatever your incubation project is, hope that was all worth it.